It's the NFL on EA Sports. And our focus goes to Jalen Johnson, who's been stepping up to the challenges all season, now at eight interceptions. It's the Cards and the Bears, and it's all up next on EA Sports. We've had a lake effect snow band sitting over Soldier Field since about 9 this morning, and it's not supposed to budge anytime soon. The good news, the folks don't seem to mind here in Chicago. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Chicago Bears. Welcome again, one and all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Brandon Gaudin on hand alongside Charles Davis. And yes, the storyline here, the weather. Snow and more of it expected as this game continues. So how will that impact how this one goes? Can these teams ignore the distraction and the strangeness of playing in a snow game? Because it actually affects the crowd as well. That big roar you get is often muffled when there's a snow game. And the second part, what's the footwear you got on? Does that fit the turf you're playing on? And how will it handle as things get a little bit slick? And it's a pretty good return here as they get this up to the 29. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off a of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of the shuffle pass. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Two plays so far, run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. <laughs> Under pressure, they got him again. Bobby Wagner, multiple times in all pro, in there to drop him for a loss. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. On fourth down, Chicago brings out Trenton Gill. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taken from just outside the 30. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. And there was a positive in last week's loss. No interceptions thrown by him. But he only threw one touchdown pass, and you know he wants that to improve. He might even consider that as part of the reason that they couldn't take the win last time out. I believe we'll see a more aggressive version of him this week whenever they're nearing the end zone. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 19 carries, 71 yards, and a touchdown. Nice, solid showing from him last week. Didn't blow the roof off with his numbers, but he certainly had a quality day and produced when called upon. Meanwhile, Murray's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the option, here's Murray running left. And he works. Murray fighting, lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. We got plenty of weather here today. We got some snow going on, and they come out of a dome. And there have been two ways of getting ready for this. Some have said, don't worry about the weather. Just practice in your normal conditions and handle it on game day. And others have said, find some weather, find some conditions somewhere, and try and get ready. What do you think? Well, whatever the preparation there, the snow causing the fumble. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Now Fields. 
A short throw caught by Andrews. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. From the 37, they work on second and six. Off play action, Fields. This one downfield to Burks. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. In motion right, that's Burks. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now execute. And he takes this one in for the Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bears use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away and there will not be a return here it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 yard line Arizona's offense at the line ready to get their drive started they had to fumble on the last drive wound up leading to the opening touchdown now they'll try again here first and ten and they're able to get this one across the 35 after one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free and it's second down. Here's Murray. He'll get this complete to Rondale Moore. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. On play action, it's Murray. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Murray now running left off the option. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble. And this is picked up by the Bears. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, after those first two drives, I think there's a head coach who's going to be called for CSI. They're going to want some forensics on this. What is going on with this ball club? Unable to hold on to the football and take care of it. Yeah, two straight fumbles for them to start out. Yeah, you would think that this team would come in ready to go. Sometimes just mentally not prepared, and it shows up in these types of plays. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Here's second and three. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll get up near the 45. He'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's good. 
And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 39. On play action, Fields rolling to his left. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. They'll try to run wide side with Montgomery. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it, and he found it all right. Took it straight to the backfield and made the tackle for a loss. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A Chicago first down there on a game of 11. But there are strong running plays, and then there are plays that are simply outclass the defense, and we saw the latter there. They ran straight up the heart of that front for an excellent game and first down. Simply put, you've got to put more of a fight defending the middle. Otherwise, this is going to be a long game. They hold it to only two there on the screen and second down. A give. This is Montgomery. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. Third and two. Draw play. Fields gives to Montgomery. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. No fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. Santos' kick is up and through. So he's been automatic to this part of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. Second down, Murray sets to throw. Goes right back to the ground. Finding room at midfield. Down the right sideline. Inside the 10. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 64 yards. And normally when you think about huge field-flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the... And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, as the first half is winding down. And the Cardinals are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Escapes the defender. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And leading 10-7, and they may just want to get this to the locker room. Able to get away, escaping the pressure right. Now a timeout signal for, they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Second down and eight. 
So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by rights, this should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know that funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. And now this throw incomplete. And that is how this first half will come to an end. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. That, the lake effect snow set to continue for the second half of action as we are back underway. And he will not bring it out, it's a touchback. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They have the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. To throw is Murray. They've got his man complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Shotgun now for Murray. Dancing to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That's Yannick and Gakwe with a sack. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time. And it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Throwing now is Murray. And that is incomplete. But a pressure there on third down, forcing the Aaron pass. Fourth down coming up. And they certainly are running up to their partner because they forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Here we go. Here and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? And a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And they're going to speed things up here. Fields to throw on third and one. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and ten at the 34. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Cardinals. Trey McBride. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead here in this third quarter. 
The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to spring together a nice drive and help themselves out. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The keeper there turning into a big play of 23 yards and it moves the sticks. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Meanwhile, Fields throws on target to Burks. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 14. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It is a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And off comes to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Here we go. From the five now, second and a yard. Fields now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make the play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. On third down, they go Montgomery. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery with his 13th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bears answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. And this is the type of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They start on the ground with Elliott. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw it for a loss. And he'll be out right at the 35. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Here comes third and about a foot. 
Murray now. Flushed out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Now it's second and ten. Murray going to throw. That complete to the former Bear, Allen Robinson. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Here's Murray. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Cardinals first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Completes this to Elijah Higgins. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Second and one now from the 21. Now Murray. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash list from an even 40 yards out. And his kick is right there. It's good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the score that until they stop me from doing something, I'm willing to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they're looking to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Another try. Second and ten now. Here's Fields. They able to complete it to Montgomery. And he'll be tackled right on the chart at a 45. Nothing open downfield. They went Let's see if he can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And he'll get it across midfield and down to the Cardinal territory. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Fields throw complete there to Johnson. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Here's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Could this be the drive that ultimately wins the game? How about the initiative he just took there? Running with it after he couldn't find a throwing lane. And he drove them into range for a game-winning field goal with that play. What an opportunity they've been presented to come through with the win. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. 
Now the Bears are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, Montgomery. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something, you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go. Yeah, as I said, can take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. This no gimme in the snow. And he nailed it. It's good. Through the snowflakes, he finds a way to get it to go. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, 